All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Bring the Juice podcast. I'm your host, Frank Talena. We're out here in Dallas, Texas at another away game, co-hosted by Michael Walker. First we gonna rock, then we gonna fall, then we let it pop, don't let it go. Today on the pod, we got Jeffrey Wilson Jr. We finally got the connection, bro. We out here, bro. What's up, man? What's hey, up, man? man? It takes a mission sometimes, but guess what? Grinders find a way, and that's the way we like it, brother. No, yes, sir. Yes, we were sir. just chopping it up before the pod. We were talking, you know, Fresno, country folks. We farmers. We both come from farm families. You started out in North Texas. Not the most glamorous place in the world. Hey, yeah. we from Fresno State. It's gritty. We like that. Nah, I'm telling you. Talk to me about North Texas real quick. Uh, I mean, it's just kind of like a, a stamp and like a really like the imprint of my story. It's kind of like how yeah. everything panned out for me, even, even in the league, because... When I first got there, they you know they just came from a bowl, but that was the that was the only year before then that they really had done something. So after that, we kind of hit like a lull during the years I was there, and then we didn't really get back to where we was that that year when before I got there until right. like my senior year. You know okay. what I'm saying? So that's when we end up getting back to the bowls and all that. We went to a couple before, but we wasn't like dominant like North Texas on the schedule until like right. My senior year, so it was real cool though, cause it, it it was like it was like it gave me the best of both worlds because I was in the college town, but also like all my family was like right it, up it, the it's street. It's home, yeah. Almost, right? All my family was right up the street, so like all the games they was there. Was like I after felt that game, too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All my nieces and nephews, they got yeah. to watch me play and grow totally, up before bro. I even got to the league. So yeah. you know, uh, it it was really like a a good place for me. You know, uh, I have a lot of love there. I always can go back. Even even the guys that still in there, I can go back to treat me with love. Like I got yeah. access to anything I want there. Like are you the man really at love. North Texas? I wouldn't say I was top man. three. Top three. <laughs> I, I, I say I say I say top five. Top five. Who's the other top couple? Five. I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm out of the loop. Who's who's some other dudes from North I mean, Texas? It was uh, it was some guys a little older than me that was there too. Okay. Uh, yeah, you always got Patrick Cobbs and all those. Um, but the one that really like imprinted me was like Lance Dunbar. So I would say okay. like yeah, he yeah. was probably the one that was like when you looked up because he made it to the Cowboys to the league and everything. Right. So mm-hmm. that was like one. And when I seen him, that was like I. Right, I seen I seen somebody come and I seen it. I know he if he can make it. I know I can't. You know right. what I'm saying? So and it's just kind of going like back to my high school. It's what my dad said. It don't matter where you at. Just put up the numbers and play, and, and they'll come find you. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. So doing that and making it to there from the uh, my small uh, high school that I was at, graduating class like 60 people. You know what I'm saying? So, Damn. Yeah, North Texas. Small was like, town. Yeah, North Texas was like one of the biggest schools I had at the time. You know wow. what I mean? So it was like. Really like a no brainer, and it worked out perfect because I didn't have to go through all uh, the other stuff or sitting down. No, um, no, none of that. Going to the bigger schools, sharing time. Like right. when I got there and when I got to my spot, like he was the dude. It was mine, and I didn't have to worry about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how it was, and it was love. You know what I mean? Like I always got love from North Texas. Well, always. take us, take us through. Like okay, so you get you said they were they went to the bowl game the year before you got there. Yeah. So you come into expectations like oh we're going to bowl games back to back we're gonna be doing we're this. winning and then you weren't winning. Take us through that. How was that going? No, nah, bro. I ain't, I don't really want to say, but it's all factual and everybody know, bro. Sure. Like it got to the point like it was it got to a point after that year it got so bad like mm. like mm. our head coach got fired on, oh, okay. on homecoming. At halftime, you know what I'm hey, saying. At like, halftime, really good, okay. at halftime, no like, shit. Like, like everybody, I don't want to angle. No, you good, you good, you good. It's, yeah, just, it's all love, but right. like right. it got to a point, like it was like that. You know what I mean? So right. that's why I said we didn't really get back to being like, all right, that's somebody you don't want to see on the schedule until like my senior year because yeah. like they was in. They, I think they played uh, UNLV that year and okay. they won. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they actually won, so they had the ring and everything. So. That was the whole hype of the recruitment when right. we was coming. You know, we got the bowl game. They seeing the trophies, mm-hmm. seeing the rings, Getting some everybody rings. live. Everyone likes the bling, bro. Oh, uh, the Have going, to. what campus visits going yeah. around? Yeah. Everybody like for us. We know, like, we know. Sure. You know what I'm saying? At the time, I'm I'm from a smaller school. I ain't know like you know when you go on yeah. visits, half of them, you know some of them still be rigged. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Saying, it's, it's, free, it's a gimmick. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta so, keep it real about so, it. So like with me, they they had me sold. Like I'm from I'm from East Texas. Like like I just told you earlier. I mean people I graduated with so yeah. like hey man shoot this is this sound like the time so so they like all that just played into it you know what I'm saying I mean I I kind of like the vibes I'm just comparing this to like okay so when I was coming in to Fresno State yeah. 
Derek just left. Derek Carr just left. Devontae yeah. was his number one receiver. Ooh, and by the way, there was a lot ooh, of other ooh, dudes on that ooh, team, yeah, bro. I remember but, that's, they, that's, they was hooping. Crazy. Burst, they and Burst, Harp, I mean, Deron, like they they had some, they had a lot of dudes. Yeah. And I mean, say what you want about Derek Carr, dude's going to be a starting quarterback in the NFL 10 years in a row. Oh, man. Come on. Dude, dude does find a way to win. You can't take nothing from him. Devontae. Can't take nothing from him. Debate what you want. He's he's top three in the league right now. Right? Say what you, say what you need. Man, that dude that is he's is different. Crazy. He's different. Yeah, crazy, so man. I came in. Literally, my coach told me the I went to the camp. If you were like yeah. one of the fastest men at the camp, yeah. I'm a junior in high school. You get to meet the coaching staff, and they say, "Listen, uh, son. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> listen, man. old son. I'm I'm, a, I'm like a five eight white boy. Maybe yeah. like maybe like, yeah. maybe like one maybe like one forty one at the time, right? Okay. I got the I got the huddle highlight yeah. tape up the ass. Oh, man. But, I, but they're like, we got this guy named Devonte Adams as our ex right now. Uh, I don't know if you fit our mold. And I'm just like. Shit, man. Like, <laughs> you, at least thanks for keeping it 100. Like, you, you fight know? it, though. Now, some people wouldn't, though. Some people so, wouldn't. Some people hey, wouldn't. You know what? I, I, your dad told you things, bro. I always knew keep your head down, grind. Good yeah. things will come, bro. I, throw God in your life with that. Always. Good things will come, bro. Always. And like I tell my brothers that, shit, it's working out so far. I'm telling you. But they had all that success. We come in. I My freshman year, DC, Devontae, all those dudes, they're gone. They're, no. they're winning rings, the blackout jerseys. No one's ever had a blackout jersey at Fresno State. Big ass deal. Yeah. Sexy as shit, too. And all of a sudden, we suck. Yeah. My, I redshirted, and then my, my first year of playing, we go 1 in 11, bro. Oh, yeah. That's Everyone's about, pissed. That's about right. You talk about coach getting fired at halftime. My shit didn't happen right. at halftime. That's about right. We were playing Utah State, and the. You know how other teams could be like in conference rivalry type shit. Like yeah. they're chirping, bro. Hey, how's it feel to have you play to keep coaching your last game ever here? And I'm not thinking anything of it. We ended up kicking up. We kick off at 8 p.m., bro. This is packed 12 after dark type shit, right? <laughs> and oh my we God. land. It was a long ass game for some reason, bro. Yeah. I don't know why. Cold as shit, bro. And long story short, we land at 4 a.m. back in Fresno, yeah. tired as fuck. Usually team meetings like sun, the next day Sunday like one o'clock something slight, right. bro. We get a you know how you get like the little team text message shit. Yeah. Nine a.m. team meeting. Be in the team room. Ah uh, yeah. I'm thinking. Wrong. I'm, first of all, we we were drinking like a motherfucker because that was yeah. a depressing ass loss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, we walk in and I'm like, bro, no way they're gonna fire a coach mid season. This is college football, bro. I'm 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 used to like stability in yeah. my coaching. Yeah. I've never experienced this before, bro. Yeah. We're all silent. Dude walks in with a black hoodie on. You know if they don't have the logo on, like some shit's up. Right? No, fact, how much? Fact. How much merch does the head football coach of a fucking football team yeah, have? Fact. A shit ton. Yeah, hey, come on, man. And this dude walks in. Well, couldn't get the job done. Uh, love you, boys. Wish you the best. You always have my number. We'll be in touch. Walks out. Fucking thirty seconds. Just like what the fuck. Now what? Who the, who's gonna go up stage and say something right now? Eventually, you know, athletic director came in. Shit came. We yeah. sh but eventually, the next year we got hired a good coach, one yeah. of our mentors, Coach true. Tefford. Yep. We go ten and four, bro. Yeah, true. One Science of the biggest story. turnarounds. Science you get story. twelve and two, bro. And I mean, to go through those struggles though of like seeing a program that was Devonte Adams, yeah. fucking Derek Carr, all of a sudden, bro, you're you're. I don't know how many college football teams though. No, you're no, 126 no. out of 126 no, right. or however many college no, football teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is tough mentally, bro, I'm because telling. you're it's not like we're not trying. It's just catastrophe. You can't win the game, bro. <laughs> it's just this shit's out of like, pocket. Damn, you know? what, what, what can we do? So, I mean, I, I'm not again, obviously your experience with North Texas molded yeah. you into who you were, and obviously it developed into success. Yeah. You ended up talk about how you went from North Texas and that transition. Where you got to the 49ers? I mean, that was a that was a long journey though. Yes. Yeah. The end of the year, I had broke my foot, my fifth metatarsal. Okay. Um, we was playing Army. It was like the we had like two more games left after that. I can't remember. It was in sometime in November. Okay. Yeah, I ended up breaking my fifth metatarsal. So before that, I had another injury, and then before that, the year before that, I broke my finger. So I'm dinged with three injuries, and the whole time my envisions is playing in the NFL. So at this point, I'm feeling like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I might have to take a different route or what if people don't want me? So right. I'm going through all that. So I break my foot, so steps going on to get to surgery, starting the rehab process, and then it's getting closer to the time where it's time to go. So um, they end up uh, coming. 
they was an agent hit me up and he was like, uh, you got to get you ready. You know what I mean? Uh, right. You're going to get an a invite to the combine. Yeah. So I'm like, whoa, what? Like, so, so now for me breaking my foot and going through that misery, sitting, hanging my head, all the world ending, yeah. like that saying you got to come out and invite them. It's like, we're going to need you to go to Carlsbad to train and get ready. You know what okay. I mean? And then we're going to prep you for your foot. That way you'll be. There. Nice place. Man, nice place. That, <laughs> way, that way you'll be ready. You know what I'm right. saying? So I go out there and train to Carlsbad, uh, meet some excellent people out there. Uh, uh, Coach Brent, uh, Brent, Brent Calloway, I don't know if a lot of people know them. Coach Holmes out there. Two, uh, two great guys that helped me at that time because I was in a, I wouldn't say a dark place, but I was in a place where I needed help and I was away from home. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't really around family. I was go to work out back to a room by myself every day just dealing with a foot injury. So they really kept me to life. So I always thank those guys. Yeah. But That's a dark place, bro. Man, yeah. but we end up getting back and getting right and getting up to the point to where we can get ready to uh, go to the combine and perform. Right. At this time, I'm, I'm doing the drills outside. I'm feeling good. So we get up there to the combine. Uh, we go through everything, all the days, and we get ready to get the field work. And uh, before you get the field work, you know, you have to do your x-rays again and all that stuff before you go. So they end up doing that and they end up flagging me like, mm. cause they said you still had like a, a hair fracture, a fracture in, yeah. your, in your foot. But at the same time, like I'm mad, like I'm I've been moving around, you know what I mean? I'm feeling been, good. Yeah, I'm straight, I can feel it, but it was just like it was a risk, so you can't Damn. do it. So yeah. boom, now I'm boom, I'm back down to ground zero, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm back to feeling like the world's back over again. You know what yeah. I mean? So I'm like, dang, so we stressed and end up going over. I didn't get to perform, we go back home. Hey, that's tough, bro. What? Damn, hey, man, you what? You're low on that, bro. That's tough. Man, I'm telling you, bro. I, I never, you was ready. Like, it was vivid. Like, coming out of North it, Texas, coming, too. It ain't, it ain't it like vivid, bro. Those, those invites don't come as easy as man, credit. Man, that's Obama, what I said. Bro. At this time, like, we, we, wasn't, we wasn't getting combine invites. And, like, right. before it happened, we even seen the combine people there. And the whole time, my um, my brother, Keyshawn McClain, he played safety. He um got some league interest at the same time. Right. I'm honestly thinking they coming from him. You know what I'm right. saying? He's we at back North Texas with him. He at the North Texas at the same time. Was me. He he ended up going to Houston uh, to the trials and everything. So uh -huh. the whole time I'm thinking they coming from him because how it was set up. I was good, but like you said, I was hurting stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really paying no no mind to it. So they end up um, that's what I said. I ended up finding out they was there for me and stuff. And I was just like, wow, that was crazy. Didn't go through all that and how that happened. It's like, man, I worked so hard to just man. Damn, why can't I make? You know what I'm saying? Like I've been yeah. dealing with all this stuff, but. I mean, God working in mysterious ways, so push forward a little bit more, you know what I mean? Uh, we come back, go back to work. Yeah. Uh, uh, we get to the pro day, right? Uh, man, so I'm feeling good. I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? Before I done prepped, I'm ready again. You know what I'm right. saying? Mind back straight. The juice is high. Man, I'm I'm, I'm a family in the stands, you know what I mean? Yeah. And got, got my good, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. So, so I'm ready to go to work again, you know what I mean? And we get out there and... It did not go how I planned, man. You, just, yeah. you didn't hit the numbers you wanted, or what? I didn't really hit the numbers I wanted. And then on some of the footwork, I didn't look like like it wasn't good. crispy. Yeah, and like on the L drill, I had to do it like three times. Ah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it was just like I know this one, bro. Man, yeah. like it was it was just like man, like. 40 time wasn't that good, so I was right. just like, dang, like, I'm back to him. Like, man, I'll be, even after the thing, like, I kind of just kind of tear it up a little bit. You can call my agent, bro. It's all factual. Shit's bro. I ain't got to lie. I ain't got to yeah, lie. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to Nah, bro. Because, like, this is my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, love, I love it that much. Like, so I'm back thinking, shit, I'm going to have to go to to the Canadian League or something. Like, oh, you know what you, I'm saying? Are you ready Cause, to go? Because they, I seen them. They was at the, they was at the, at, they was at the, the pro day, day too. You right, know what I'm saying? They come through. They're scouting just as hard as They just like, so I'm thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? But my agent calm me down and don't worry. And then a little bit later, um, Crazy thing, Mike, Mike McDaniel, he end up he end up coming to North Texas later and like giving me a workout. You know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah, one you on had, one. You had a little one. Okay. Yeah, okay. one on one. Okay. Came to the college, gave me a little one on one, and, and I looked way better. I know I looked better than I did at right. the pro day. You know what I mean? Because I was. And you had the I tape. Was still you had progressing. the tape. Yeah, like I said, that's always been there. But in my mind, you gotta understand. Like, it's a job interview, bro. I'm from North Texas. Yeah. Like, I'm from Smallmouth. Like, yeah, and I, I got stat, but it ain't, I got film, but you got to think. There's of, a disadvantage when you come schools, to a school like that. Exactly. All the schools around you, bro. It's exactly. not just, it's not just 10 running backs trying to make it to the league, There's bro. 10,000, bro. See what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, and, and then I'm hurt. Like, I didn't, I got an injury report. So, like, you got to think about all Red man, flag, I'm, red flag, red, red flag. After, after red flag, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but like, they know, like, I don't know. I guess, like, Mike them seen something in me. So, 
we ended up waiting, uh, going to the, um, we had the little drive party at the house. Um, was on the phone with some people, and then uh, I had a couple teams lined up, but um, Bobby Turner, uh, Coach Bobby Turner was the uh, um, main one that, uh, you can ask Josh, you know about him. Uh, he's uh, he's really the one that kind of. This Hokits guy. No, nah, for okay, real. Okay. Yeah, for real. We'll get into that. Nah, Keep going. <laughs> yeah, he really kind of um, helped stamp me with the 49ers, besides they was the the only team that came and worked me out too. So yeah. I'm like, it's just like, that's who's showing the most interest. So they right, came. So it was just like a no brother. So I ended up signing with them and so, I ended up here. Hey, shit, man. <laughs> ran with that shit, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, you said like, I mean, I got like 10 things that popped in my head. You were talking, like, I want to go back to when you told me about when you were going to go train. I mean, a lot of times people don't think like, a lot of people watch us on TV. They just think, okay, they, when they got drafted or didn't get drafted, they went here. Talk about the mindset, leaving home, having to go to Carlsbad and training by yourself in a dark place. You're hurt. You're trying to figure out what's going on. You're by yourself. Like, talk to us about that. Bro, it was it was wicked, bro, because because going through all that, you got to understand, like, I ain't really, I ain't really have no funds like that at the yeah, time yeah, as well. Yeah. So you got to think, like, mm -hmm. yeah, you're going out through that, but, like, you was getting, like, yeah. a like a thousand dollar checks at you and yeah. me it's a stipend bro it's yeah, a scully stipend yeah. it was like eight yeah. I, had, I had a car you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> <laughs> like my family can help but they couldn't really we going to Chili's saying? tonight yeah. a little top shoot, ramen Chili's my old, my old lady was cooking for me that's how yeah. I shoot she was yeah. cooking we Costco for the week man what you know what I'm so it, we just had we just found a way you know what I mean so uh, right. that was cool but like but like it's really crazy though because like, like at this time, like you have so much emotions, man, and you yeah. have to so much stuff you gotta you gotta go through. But at the same time, you gotta put it aside because you gotta work. So mm -hmm. the whole time I was going through that, I know I never like I never wavered from the goal. Like yeah. I never I never wanted to move from. I never wanted to get off the path that I was on because I know where I wanted to be at the end of the day. So regardless of all the pain, all 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 the time away, all the dark nights, you know what I'm saying, the loneliness. I knew I had to get to the league because I knew I had to take care of the people I love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was, I was the only one to do it. Like, I was going to be the only one to be able to take care of my people the way my people I felt like, or even nobody else, I felt like my people should be taken care of. Yeah, so, yeah I, I like that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just something like, because for me, I was a Cali kid. I left yeah. California, went all the way to Florida. Like, I was yeah, training true. in Florida. And just my people in general, they're like, "Oh man, you living in Miami? You're like, you're doing this and that." But they yeah. don't know, like, that's a dark place over there. Man, like, you're, you're coming from a small school. You're by yourself. You're by yourself. Man, you're by yourself. You know, you're young, bro. Ahead, <laughs> telling you, you know, man, so it's like, like, who do I talk? You know, I'm three hours ahead. So no, when people want to talk to me. They get enough work, and she's like, yeah, "I'm going to sleep." sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for real. You know so like, it's like it, it's 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 one of those things. They're like, "Oh, you're, you're just out there, like, you know, doing what you love." But it's like, man, I, yeah. But you gotta understand, like. You're on your own. That's yeah. that. People don't understand when you finish your last college football game till that draft. That's a dark time. Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. Like, like unless you just um got an agent and you like some high draft and they yeah. and they give you some money like until them couple months until you get back. But but shoot, if you ain't projected, you ain't yeah, gonna yeah. get. <laughs> you know what I'm like, yeah, get what's that be? Nah, 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 what? Yeah. what? No, sir. Like I said, you still gonna feel like you want to stop and check in college. You know what I'm saying? Right. But. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's it's the give or take a thing, but like I said, that's what honestly I accept that because all that made me who I am today. Yeah, like, right. That struggle, like it's the journey. Yeah, I ain't, I'll never get like big headed. I'll never get, feel like I'm too big. Or I'll mm -hmm. never not help the next man because I've always had to get help throughout my whole career. Right. If I ain't, if I ain't get the help I got from the people that was around me, I don't care. I wouldn't be here today. You know what I'm saying? So that's real. Jeff, you mentioned that I mean, and, and you could get into it as much as you want, but like I've talked about it. I don't know me and Josh, which we could get into that, but like Josh Hokey, one of my good buddies, yeah. coming to my yeah, wedding yeah, in a couple yeah. weeks. Yeah. I admire the dude because of his grit and the way his work ethic and the way he attacks everything. Uh we're big David Goggins guys. Yeah. We, we we like that shit, bro. We like that Navy SEALs type shit. And one <laughs> thing that he talks about is that dark place. And yeah. I brought it up emotionally in my in my kind of journey everyone everyone has it in some way shape or form some sure. people voice it more than others i mean one of the best people i've had on on bring the juice talk about it was dude from fresno played in the nba for 10 years quincy pondexter and he just discusses yeah. a bit and he actually uh went into this awesome 20 minute tangent about how he was guarding kobe bryant yeah. and he just explains how like but I didn't think Kobe knew who I was. And after the game, he chopped it up and knew every single fucking thing about me. And they, no, they had this right. great 
moment essentially. But and I almost this is what bring the juice is at this point. But when you got so much emotion and football is an emotional game. Yeah. yeah. When you got so much emotion, you put so much into this shit. And you develop almost this internal dark place from different sources of pain. Yeah. There's two ways you could go off this. You could either fold and, and go into the tank emotionally. If shit doesn't go your way. Or you could use it as motivation. You can use it as fuel to make it to where you're going to chase greatness as the, to the best of your abilities possible. Yeah. I feel like you've done a great job of taking that dark place. And, and it's it's propelled you into, I mean, shit, you're a, a fucking... Yeah. Six motherfucker, year. motherfucking yeah. sixth lead, yeah. sixth year. Six year. Yeah. You're the running back on the Miami yeah. Dolphins, bro. Yeah. yeah, you know, and that's uh, that's a blessing. You know, that's all thanks to God. First off, but you know, uh, when you just like I said, it, it goes more so like to my family. You know what I mean? Like, of course, it's it's the people. I, like, I already know. I like. I already knew. Like, if I make it, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a okay. Like, you know I mean? I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be fine. Chill. But like. Like growing up, we had a house full, a house full of people like six, like six to eight at a time. When we when we stayed in our apartment, you know what I mean? Right. Like, and and we moved like every year, like you know what I'm right. saying? Like we didn't stay nowhere over a year, like like and that's and and this is this is my mother, you know? This is nothing. She we straight now. She got right, she right. got a house. She's chilling. She's good. You know what I'm saying? But like we moved every week, like and. And that's I remember that like I remember the emotions she like felt. She tried to hide it, but like like me being a Scorpio, I'm an observant person. She don't even know this to this day, but like I used to see like when she used to have her head down. I used to see like her her stop and drop the bag when we got it right. carrying it out the house. I used to see all that, and I never forgot it. And then my father, being the man he was, you know, he told me like. Don't you worry about me. Like, if you ever, you know what I mean? This was before I even got it. If you ever make it, like, make sure you take care of your, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you get, right. make sure you sit your mom down and we see you got to do all that move and do all that extra. So that was, that was, that was like one of the, one of the main reasons that pushed me, you know what I'm saying? And then like my family, like I had to, like, if you just got to walk down my store and understand my background, you'll, Right. You know, for no, I ain't trying to get no sob story. No, 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 man. Positive the top of, like, vibes, yeah. You just gotta, you just gotta like, like understand me to know, and like, and if you really know, like, you know, I really had no choice. Right. Like, I really had no choice at all. Like, then get my son. Like, shh, that's a whole nother. Now nah, that's a whole nother. Like, I, you know what I mean? I can't stop now, and I'm, I won't stop, and I won't ever look back. You know what I mean? I mean, just real quick. Jeff, respect the fuck out of you. No, yeah. appreciate Seriously. that, bro. No, dead ass. Yes, I know you bring the juice, but like, dead no, ass. Like, no, you're an example friend. to a lot of people out there, and I'm, I'm, I'm blessed you're on the podcast no, right appreciate now. Appreciate that, bro. Talk to me about Mike McDaniels, though. <laughs> <laughs> man, I gotta change man, the... Oh, I, 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 I gotta get into this. Oh, yeah, man. I, I, I got some questions for you. Oh, because, because, all right, so, dude, you, he was a, 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 a... Dude, also, this is... I, I don't want to say uh, a certain term here, but like, Dude was low key like ugly as shit at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> but but he definitely was like day. intern analyst nerd and like yeah, has, has yeah. grown. But no, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, give give me that progression, bro. Give me your Mike McDaniel's journey so far. Man, see, I I didn't I didn't catch him towards towards. Towards the, the McDonald Daniel, the, okay, the Mickey D, the Mickey D Daniel. I, I, I didn't catch those phases, but like from the moment I caught, he was still, he was still had this little, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He still was in the curve of, of changing, but he was he had he had made the hump a little bit. So yeah, he was a little more hip when I had right. caught him. You know what I mean? But he was still Mike. It was it was the. Like man, Mike's a goofy person. Like, Dude, tell oh I need some God. shit, Jeff. I need some <laughs> shit, bro. What do you do, bro? <laughs> I, I didn't tell this to the so I can tell him. I don't know why I'm on like it's like you just gotta understand, Mike. You gotta see his facial expressions. You gotta like <laughs> see what he moves. Cause like, bro, he'll be telling the whole joke, bro. I'm be looking at you straight face and like straight face. Like you gotta understand that. Like this time, I'm, this is his dude. I'm coming out of college, bro. Like right. I feel like I'm in the interview for a league. Yeah, so. you. Like I'm uh, sitting up straight, bro, he, sir, sir, yes, he's sir. Straight facing me, like no emotions, like no expressions, not a giggle, not so a laugh. Fucking with you, like straight facing the hell out of me, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, like 
and he said like he talks like if you remember right he talked like he talks fast, fast so if you yeah, catch right. him like you got to understand so he he's going to gym and gym and gym and gym and gym then he said dude, dude you know um you know I uh, I got some black in me right you know my dad's black I said bro like why what is that coming I don't know what man like said my dad's black <laughs> bro <laughs> hell so, no nah. where does that come from I just see my head like like no he's not no he's not like like bro he's still straight faces and stuff like bro I'm dead I'm dead, there. I'm dead serious like bro like. <laughs> pull, pull the grandma family pic pulls his phone out and so oh. I said oh my god it is I said dad that's crazy man but like but that's Mike though but he seen and felt how tense and uptight I was you know what I'm saying so right. that's just him kind of breaking that breaking the ice you right know right I mean? so regardless, like regardless of how, how crazy or messed up you may think it sound like really you gotta understand his agenda and his task at the time you know what I mean he's right. just trying to He's just really trying to loosen me up. You know what I mean? Right. So Get you like, comfortable. You know what I mean? And, but that's Mike, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. He he does. He has ways, and he does it in his own way. But but his goals and his tasks are like man, like like no other. He's you know laser, what I mean? Laser focus. Like no other. So, so you would you, would you consider him like a like a mad scientist almost at this point, or like I really would, man. Like, yeah. You, know, you gotta understand. Man. You gotta understand where he went to college. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like no, he yeah. he he. Have you seen the movie Moneyball? Uh, the baseball I, one with the in the Oakland A's. Ooh, I have to see it. I have to oh, see bro, that's fine. I have but, to see it. I, but remember. I also just think about like Kalen DeBoer. Like I don't know how he operates his offense necessarily, oh, yeah. but he seems like a. Uh, it's football. Obviously, it's X's and O's. But at yeah. the same time, like it low key is a math equation and well, there's a science to it. Does he break it down that way? I, yes. I get that vibe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's all he's, percentages, probabilities and shit like that. He's a guru. It's, he, man, it's, he knows where it's going to be, how it's supposed to be there and when it's supposed to be there. That's he it. will walk you through it and if it's not there, it's going to be this. Exactly. He could tell, he could tell it, it like, like you're not going to be in your spot like just from sitting at the back and seeing your first couple steps like right like he'll be like you'll see him like you watch him feel here like start turning his head and then you look up at the pass the pass off you know what i'm saying so like he he that guy you know what i mean like for real and he but he originally approached you when you were with the niners right yeah and then when he went he was on the dolphins at this point and then he mm -hmm. he pretty much brought you over there right yeah pretty much yes sir can you i mean are you open i mean how was that transition bro because you was you it seems like you was close with the niners and then and then that whole deal happened, and you just ended up with the Dolphins. Yeah, you I think was. Mike sniped you from them, or like what? No, not at all, not at all. Because like at yeah. the end of the day, everybody say that, but you know what I mean. When I asked for what I asked for, sure. it was up to the Niners to send me wherever they so. To it's like it's not like I could go up there and be like, nah, I'm going here. You right, right. You, nah, you could have picked. Send me here. You know what I'm sure. saying? They they like, but that's why I said it's all love. At the same time, right. that's why I got. So much love for the 49ers because right. they 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 could have sent me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They mm -hmm. could have shipped me, you know what I'm saying? But right. they already knew the type of you know they what knew I'm you and Mike had that relationship. Saying, yeah. hey, this yeah. is a good fit you know for Jeff. Saying? We respect like, him as a player. Exactly, this is what will fit him good. We got to work our franchise is here. Blah blah blah. Exactly, and, and they that's are that's respect. You know bro. what I'm saying? That's what I the said, bro. That's why I said like everybody, everybody can say what they want to. Everybody can get mad at people, but like. Like, yeah, I was salty about the situation. Everybody know the situation that happened. Yeah, I was yeah. salty how it occurred. But you like, have to, bro. You're a grown-ass like, man. But at the same time, like, but me being the person I am, like, just talking and being right, that's why you sure. always got to do things the right way in this yeah. world because, you know what I mean, you never know. Like, you ain't going to never say you just need nobody because in life right. you really don't. But you never know when you might need a help of hair. So that's why, that's why I'm, I'm glad my father really instilled that on me to, like, never yeah. burn your bridges and keep your face good. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Because... Be nice to people, bro. Man, like... Be nice to people. Be a good dude. They ain't even... They ain't, they ain't even have to... You know what I'm saying? They ain't even have to trade me if they want to. Nah. So they just, just left me there and let me be. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whatever I want, however I want to be, will or off or fall off the face of the earth, but especially right. got, but. They knew my passion and they knew me and and, and, I, and I knew they knew where I wanted to go so they was open to it and that's from from the from New York all the way down like it's it's love like I got love for that organization. Jeff, that talks about your character though too, yeah. bro. I mean that that they wouldn't do that for anybody. No, nah, that's what a sure. lot of people want to do a lot of things for some people, but yeah, no, nah, well, that's that's a respect. Man, for what real. I'm saying, man, I'm just thinking about we're talking about bring the juice i mean miami dolphins look at your guys roster you know what i'm saying like, like, come on man like hot shit, man. like don't do that man y'all got i mean like i said i play for atlanta like it's like yeah i look at your roster i'm like damn yeah <laughs> like, nah for damn. real couple but dudes like, <laughs> but at the same time for you know you for you being in the league you also know no matter 
How good the that, that shit look, look on paper, paper bro. Like, <laughs> they they got to come together, man. Mm-hmm. But well, we, shit, the Raiders last year, what? they're supposed to go undefeated. Man, I mean, I'm telling you, nah, yeah. it, it has to come together. But we have, but like I said, but if you want to just glance down and look at yeah. the paper, man, we we have every we have everything we need. Hey, I've uh, chirped at some Miami Dolphins posts where they're like, look at our offensive weapons. And your name's on them, and I said, hey, bro. What oh, the this, fuck, bro? That's been my whole life. I don't pay no attention to nah, that. Nah, I know you can't, but let me voice it for you. <laughs> no, let, me yeah. talk <laughs> let me talk my shit, Jeff. You bring the juice. Let me talk my no, shit. Man. I don't see fucking Tua on here. Yeah, nah, I see no, Jeff, though, bro. Yeah, no, <laughs> let, me, let me talk my shit, bro. Nah, you got it, man. <laughs> but like I said, that that be the stuff why I go to my dark place, though. And it's from the... I feel like it, 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 the time is coming. The time yeah. is coming where, where well, we won't have to deal with that anymore you know what I mean I don't want to get too much in it because I just like to work and pop up on the scene yeah, I don't right. want to I don't want to just gangsters just, move in silence baby just, just voila here I am but but just know it's it's coming to a time I, I've been feeling it, I ain't I won't even call it disrespect because it ain't even it ain't even about that but I've been feeling all all the noise and the down talk I, I I feel the 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 you know you don't want it, the non acknowledgement. I I feel that and, and that's what fuels me. So honestly, I would prefer to keep it that way because that's why I'm in the league for going on six years. Well, right I mean, now. you could, yeah. you could be a sophomore in high school who, who rushed for a Come thousand on, yards man. and your second team all league. You know? <laughs> and they still gonna know. It's hey. been that way my whole life. That's why I said, man. You look at that shit. You go high school. Bet. Yeah. Since okay. High school. So you, it's cool. We're getting ready to start. Obviously, we're getting ready to get out the OTA and stuff like that. Miami. We went to so Atlanta. We had a little joint practice with Miami. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. was brutal. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> ah, like, boy. Uh, but what? Like uh, we so, took you took your guys practice. Oh, yeah, I went to yeah I went to Miami. But went to Miami. Oh. Three hours. Oh. We so you know whenever you go to a team, oh. you know you take their format, their practice. Yes. We joined their practice. Three hours, no break. Boom, 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 boom. That sounds like some Fresno State shit. Bro, that shit was brutal. And I'm like, (laughs) bro, we're we're looking at our coach like, bro, fuck this. We finna just leave, bro. Come back. Like, we're not finna do this shit no more. You know what I tell you? (laughs) I I know it's brutal for y'all because when I got that, I got got traded in the middle of the season. Bro, I was gonna say, November, how hard is that mid-season shit, bro? Bro, I'm gonna talk to you about just a second. I got there in November. Y'all was in camp doing that, son. Bro, camp. Bro, I, I threw up in November. The first day I got out there, like, bro. When's the last time you threw up since then? Bro, bro I, I don't throw up. That's like, what I'm yeah, saying. Especially like, not ever. at practice. I don't throw up at practice. The like, fuck? I'm really mad. Like, bro. Oh, like, ah. like, you out here looking. You out here I got that dog in me. I promise. You I promise. promise. Nah, but I, I jump right back in, though. I jump right back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I jump right back in. Nah, definitely. I'll never forget that shit, man. We sitting out there, like, looking at our coach. Like, bro, you serious? Like, Yeah, nah, for real. But but the trend. Transition though, like it was mid season's tough though. That's it different. Was, it was love, bro, because like I had a lot of people over there. I already yeah. knew, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it was like that is dope. Bits and pieces. Was from, Raheem already there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He are was. You, out, are you guys boys? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. That was Raheem. Was like I was gonna say oh, Raheem was he, Raheem. I'll tell you a story about us real quick. He was um. This was when I was undrafted. Um, he was going through the same. He was undrafted too. So he used to see my first race. He was the first dude that uh that he took me out, sent me down, took me to breakfast, paid for everything, really talked to me, gave me the escape, or let me know what's coming up, where to take my mind, like the whole thing. He really ran down and gave me the game. So that's why I said I. That's respect. I, I always have to say he didn't have to do that. You know what I mean? But. Nah. And he's still the same guy that today. You know what I'm saying? See, that's why we still locked in. I can call him right now. He ain't answer. Like, a FaceTime right now. He ain't answer. You know what I mean? On the part. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But that's the type of relationship that we always had. It'll always be a big brother to me, you know, and to, to the day on. It's his kids and my nephews. He called my son his nephew. And, and, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right there. I like that. Yeah, for real. I like but, that. But that transition, though, yeah. man, that that was it, was, it was cool because, like I said, my college coach, he's in a strength room. Uh, uh, That's lit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I got, I got uh, people. Yeah, Mike. Mike, you know what I'm saying. And then we had some more people that came over from the 49ers. Uh-huh. And then you know, obviously, I got the players on the team that I already knew. So right. it was really just like a, like a, like a reunion. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it was, it was more so a reunion than that. Then the playbook, I was already familiar with it, so it wasn't like I had to stay up extra. No, you, you, it, nice, it wasn't you know, brand new. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, right. Fact, Which as an so. offensive player, that shit's a, that's yeah, a multiple no, sometimes. It's, still, it's definitely some 
definitely some, some stuff ports. you had to stay up though. Let me make sure I look through this a couple times before I go to sleep. But you know what I mean? It wasn't like, damn, I gotta learn a whole shit. Nah, like, nah, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's I, good. I, I, I ain't one of them. Just no, right. eight, it ain't just no eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, that's yeah, all, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Two it was. Yeah, you feel me? Don't, don't you worry about number eighteen, nineteen. You know what I'm saying? But like, but nah. So that that was cool. Like even the protections, all that. So I'm, I'm real big on that. So everything was kind of like you know what I'm saying, easy to catch on to. I mean, this might be. This might be some like on some on some like little kid shit, but like, bro, like the Niners got some cool colors, but the Dolphins got some raw ass. Bro, the color said, rush bro. with the Dolphins. You need, you need y'all to put bro, I was, I was. And mad. guess what? Man. Nate, there's no school. There's no high schools or colleges really repping that same color no. scheme, bro. No, they're, they're none. Unique. You need it's, it's, that's what I'm saying. That shit is sexy I'm as fuck. I'm so mad I missed the throwback. I'm so Throw, mad yeah, I missed the throwback. throwback. Hard, Are they gonna I'm bring them back this so year? Like, I don't know. I hope they do. I just what got, do you I think gotta wear oranges. I think they're kind of hard. I like them, man. Look, look. individually, kind of hard. They look terrible. The all put the whole team in it. The all teal. Yeah, hot. Dude. Nah, I don't fuck with all teal. Yeah, sure. the Miami, I don't see you can't go wrong. But even the all white, Miami might have the no, best white out, bro. In the league, I, still. Hey, hey, you I guys like got Miami. a pretty good white out. We got a nice uh, white out. I like Cincy. Cincy has a nice white out. Oh, yeah. no, I'm sorry, I forgot yeah. about Cincy. Cincy's yeah, a nice Cincy's white white out. Yeah, I just like the highlight colors of ours and not white. Bro, this yeah. shit's hot. Yeah. yeah, it's just like the highlight. I mean, y'all bro. got the fastest team in the league, so shit look good in white. This white cleats make you look fast. Move it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we always wear white shit, I believe. <laughs> y'all gonna go Penn State style? Spray Man. paint them shits black? <laughs> Mike McDaniels? <laughs> hey, listen, boys. <laughs> hey, listen here, fellas. Yeah, he, he ain't gonna give a damn. He, he gonna be just long as y'all come out there and ready to go shit. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the vibe? Like, is the vibe different from Miami to 49ers? Or what's the vibe? What's the different practice vibe? But just be around the facility. Like, I've been to Miami's facility. That shit off the hook. <laughs> like, that shit oh, is shit. top Hard of the rock, line. Bro. Hard that's rock. But, like, they just built their new practice facility. Yeah, that's, it's, that's, it's top of the line. That's what I'm saying. That's about the only difference. Yeah, just everything exists. else pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And the 49ers do. They got a nice shit. Yeah. Bro. I ain't going to lie. They do. They do. I'm talking about. The both of them fool great, man. Ooh. That's Fran? the biggest thing. See, people don't Ooh, realize but that. I ain't gonna San Fran? Mm-hmm. Ooh, San Fran got some good food. People but, ooh, Miami, that. but Miami, ooh, I ain't gonna lie, boy. They got some food. They got some food <laughs> for you, boy. I'm telling you, boy. Tell you what, tell right? you, boy. <laughs> not, not every facility got good food. I'm telling you, I'll be like, Mike's out here eating fucking hey, hot pockets I ain't gonna call nobody out. No, I ain't gonna call nobody out. Not every facility got good food. That's all I'm gonna say, man. I said, not every facility got good food. Oh, boy, I am. I've heard. I just. Well, I didn't heard people want to write essays yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. They get so mad. Dude, but anyway, well, didn't they come that. out with like this thing for the league this, this year? Like these scores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone was ass. Bro, I, I'd say. Hey, I tell you. Hey, we don't got to get into it. We don't got to get into it. Meal prep play. life. That's just, yeah. bro, it was meal prep life for some people at places. That's all that. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I mean. Chipotle yeah. getting up. Good show. Like, Chipotle getting up. Yeah, 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 Chipotle getting up. Go on record, I like Atlanta. Atlanta food, not, not bad. Not bad. Hey, hey, clip it. Yeah, clip Atlanta's that. not clip bad. That. Atlanta got good food. We're proud to sell to our chefs. Mike's going to get some loogies in his shit. <laughs> yeah, I want that one. It's either. Hey, I, I mean, know. Jeff, like, so obviously, I mean, you make a good point, though. Like, all right, so realistically, like, you, you've been in two organizations in the league. Yeah. East Coast, West Coast. Honestly, as far as you can. Yeah, as far as you can. Yeah, facts, yeah, facts, facts, facts. I would say, again, you know, not me, but like yeah. San Fran's vibe, maybe because Josh is one of my good buddies, True. Josh Hokit. Uh, uh, but he talks like, like he, he, you know, Kittle seems like a great dude. Yeah. Jusek, uh, Jusek was repping that hat pregame. No, facts. Jusek, what the fuck, bro? You said you come on the pod, bro. Let's, let's do it. Call him out. Hey, <laughs> but I'm, I'm on his ass. I'm busy, man. Uh, you know, he was like, yeah, bro, let's link. And I was like, all right, bro, let's do it then, man. Yeah. Let's talk, talk your shit. And, uh, <laughs> No, but like they seem like they have a great locker room. But yeah. like Miami seems like locker room's lit as shit too. I know we kind of brushed on it, but like, bro, I mean, I, I, just from the outside looking in, it looks I don't know fun, who's bro. Better than the Forty ers man. The way they come out for the games, man. That shit, like, I'll be looking at that like. Hype. I ain't gonna lie, brotherhood, hype real up. brotherhood, real tight out there. That shit. That and, shit. And, and, and San Fran. I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's one up. thing I say, bro. Like, they real, they real tight. They're tight. You know what I'm saying like they real tight. You know, some people be tight, but it's just yeah. I right, we tight because we play the. 
It'd be right, like right, right. You know what I'm saying? They'd be actually be like like bond. The groups been in each other's and weddings yeah, type shit. Yeah, yeah. Everybody got their own. You know what I'm saying? Everybody There's know cliques and groups. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't. We drink. We, we don't. Ain't brothers, we ain't brothers, brothers. Y'all <laughs> love me. Y'all. I mean, everybody know that. You know, it's a business. That's why we brother. You know what I mean? But <laughs> like, it, it'd be cool out like, there. Everybody don't like. You know what I'm saying? Even like the highest people, they don't right. step on nobody's toes. And like, like all the highest people work like. Kiddo, both all of them, like you know, I always see them in the white room. I always see them working, so it ain't never like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, right. he the highest paid, he cool, oh, he a nerd, oh, yeah. Right. You really ain't got no choice because everybody do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that be the main thing. And they do it in front of people. So, like, and that's the thing, you know, some people get the highest paid, they want to go off or you know, fly out the country, they like doing their own things. But, like, I said, that's a, I would say the difference between them and a lot of people. Everybody be like in house, you right, know what right. I'm saying? So, that's dope. Yeah. You've played a lot of places these days. What's the most lit game you've ever been a part of? Just I'm talking the energy is through the roof. Holy the juice is popping, Jeff. This, this I'm year? talking ah like that, like your shit's fuck ah fucking shit. This year? Ever. 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 NFL wise. NFL, NFL pro, pros, pros, yeah, yeah. Not some North Texas bullshit. I'm talking in those. Man, it's gotta be the game when I guess Arizona. I don't think nothing's topped that, bro. She was and that game was crazy, and that was the only play I had the whole game. <laughs> Skated. That was that was the only only play I had. Talk about game. take me through the play, man. I I'm talking I'm talking I'm talking I'm knees on the fucking I kneecaps. Take, I mean man, hands on the kneecaps. Huddle. Take you through the <gasps> take you through the whole drive. I'll take you through. The, Go ahead. I'll take you through the kickoff return. Shoot. Hit me with me. Let's go. <laughs> I was I was feeling it there, shoot. Like I, I don't know. I was hoping they would kick it to me or something, but nah. It was uh we came on the silent after that. We marching it down like the whole time. What year was, was this? What year was this? Two thousand. My second. My second year. Eight. Yeah. Second. Second year. Okay. So, yeah, one of them. Sure. <laughs> know, we can't. It's in there. Don't, don't pinpoint we'll me. Google it. We'll Google it. <laughs> Somebody gonna get mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I did it. I did it. I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, All right, take me through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We driving down. You know what I mean? I'm standing by my coach. Uh, and uh, it was the other quarterback. This is an intense game. You know, the clock running down. Everybody standing up. Everybody on the sidelines. Uh, we make it at this time. We making it past past midfield. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had just made it. Then we end up we end up burning a timeout. What's the score at this point? We down by three. Okay. We down by th- we down by three. Yeah. 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 Okay. Keep going. Six, something like that. I don't know. We went thirty twenty seven, but anyway, yeah, we was down there much, and uh, we passed the half when he called a timeout. When he called the timeout, and I was standing beside um, Coach Turner at the time. Okay. And then uh, I see him like. Like grab it as soon as you grab it, you know they they listen they because coach talking so they you making hella eye contact wait yeah like no nah, bro because like you know what I'm saying like bro you gotta understand I ain't been in all game you cold I'm antsy like mm-hmm. you ready the to go game intense the fans into it I'm into it the player Sweet. brothers into it coach juice like, is high it's lit like you can feel like the vibrations like coming from your feet like you know what I'm saying just the the stadium shaking like it was like it was real live intense so That's so lit man I see him grab his ear pad and, like he like squeeze like master to his face. He was like, what? Then he's like, say it again? He said, Jeff. Like, I heard him say, Jeff. And then he like, then he said, Jeff. And then he grabbed me. He said, Jeff, go ahead. He gave me the old, yeah. hey, let's go, yeah. son. Yeah, it was like real quick. He was like, he was like, oh, so shit, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm getting in there. Shit, I'm starting to stretch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fine. Like, I don't even know what he about to call, but I'm finna be ready for it. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. You got a band or something? I'm in that business. It's like, Jeff, whatever you do, bro, if, if it comes to you, bro, you gotta make the play, bro. I'm, got it. You gotta make the play, bro. Yeah, I was yeah. like, fuck that. It's coming to you. Make the play. Like, this, this before, <laughs> like I'm real live, bro, doing this to myself right, right. in my head while my hands Hyping your like, shit up. I'm, I'm bent over now. Like, I'm waiting for Jim to walk back in with the play. Like, I'm bent over trying to listen. And I, I'm waiting on the play now. So, you gotta make the play. Gotta make the play. He come in and Booty booty woo. He said he played it. Choice. I said, oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he came to this. So, bro, like, I don't know. Like, then, like, I just felt like, yeah, I didn't even feel nothing but, like, right. my heartbeat. Like, <laughs> that's the only thing I felt like. Most, I most nervous you ever been? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to understand the play. You just go. You got to understand. Nine times out of ten, you run this play. It come to me. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Like, primary. It's coming to you. I know, I know he's looking directly at me. Nobody right, else right, at right, first. Right. You know what I'm saying? The, so, the pill slide into your way. Yeah, it's coming your way. So me now I'm being in the lead. I'm knowing defenses and shit. So I'm seeing the blitz like 
coming before you had to understand we play Arizona twice a year. Yeah. You know what I'm, you know what the shit that I'm doing. Yeah, I'm seeing the blitz. So my decision now is they gonna drop the in or is they gonna rush him and drop the packer. <laughs> so now I'm trying to see which way I'm finna cut. This is the only thing. <laughs> it's our pregame. I'm going through this hand. This our pregame. If I see quarter, I'm cutting in. If I see this, if I see this, if I see the linebacker, I'm breaking out quick as hell because I know they finna He's bring big. out the two. They coming up the middle. <laughs> they finna bring three up the gut. I see it coming. They finna bring three. So we gotta go. Man, make it quick. Man, let's like say you know they end up dropping um, Chandler Jones. I take a big step out, try to open them up. He <laughs> took it, snapped it, and looked around. <laughs> oh, I, I ain't done that. I ain't done that. I ain't done that. But, uh, but I turn around, bro, the ball. I see the ball, but it's coming behind me. So I'm like, oh, shit. Like, you, got, you better catch like, this one. Remember what I told him? I said, bro, you got to make the play, bro. Been on the jugs. Um, yeah. Grab that man. I just took off, man. It scored. The crowd went crazy. Like, that was like play brothers around me. Like, that Going was crazy. Lit, bro. I had, That's juice right there, Jeff. Man, I'm telling you, at his finest. At his finest. At his finest. I'll never forget that. I'll never oh, yeah. forget that. Remember, you never, never forget that one. Never forget that your way, bro. I played the Super Bowl every time. I'll never forget that day. Man. Right. Can't Jeff. beat that. <laughs> hey, man. I mean, honestly, I this has been a fire episode. Before yeah. we leave, anything you want to say to bring the Juice Nation real quick? Man, I want to say y'all keep following, keep following, man. These are, <sighs> these are, these are great people, great dudes, man. Fire. I'm telling you, uh, I, I like genuine people and it's strictly genuine and uh, anything y'all need from me from here on out, bro, y'all got it because it's that much love, man. That's I appreciate love. And my guy, we got, and I'm not, I know you're playing stuff. I'm going to head out Miami this year, bro. Step yeah, come out on, man. Come I'm going to have a wife man. at that point, bro. Come on to the 305, man. Come on out, man. Come on, man. Let me know, man. Let me know, man. Let me know, man. Y'all make sure you follow Jeff yeah. on the gram. Support yeah. him yeah. this year on Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Wish y'all the best. All right, that conference that getting that conference getting competitive. Mm, I'm ready for it. Good. I like that. Grind <laughs> grind, baby. Bring the juice, baby. Hey, bring Tell the you. juice. We'll see y'all next week. Subscribe. Buy some merch. Follow Jeff. 305 to my city. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Still Texas. All right, y'all. We out.